When people get into an Uber at 3 a.m. on a Saturday night, they don't necessarily expect to be talking about their mum. So you gotta give them the lowdown. I'm making a video for Mother's Day. So Mother's Day is coming up and I'm asking passengers like, and it's a super cheesy, and it's like what you love about mum. But I'm asking passengers what they love about their mum. <laughs> it's supposed to be really, really corny. Yeah. But like what you love about your mum. Do you, do you wanna do you wanna be in like a snippet? Sure. I fucking hate my mum man. I'm sure. <laughs> my mum is a fucking shoddy, crazy oh, no. bitch, but oh, no. but I'm still gonna call her up and wish her happy mother's day. I she burned that. his Gucci out. <coughs> I respect She that. set his Gucci out on fire. Gucci 28 game, <laughs> brother. Are you close with your mum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're most definitely. I mean, yeah. Totally up to you. <laughs> Too much. So then, then, what do you love about your mum? <laughs> <laughs> I love asking people that yeah. question. Exactly. <laughs> so night is Stop. very... Traffic is very quiet tonight. Yeah, uh -huh. I'll do it. Let me get, like, give me a couple minutes so I think about, about what about I would it. say. Sure, sure. I wasn't gonna ask if it was a dress up, <laughs> I just assumed this is what you wear. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah exactly. It's just an ordinary Saturday night. Yeah. Man, you pimped your car! <laughs> it's for a bit of fun, right? What do you got? First time I ever came to your house. No, no. mum told me. It was, no, it was, not car, to go it was on a car ride, we were going somewhere. No, no it was, it was, it was on, at the kitchen table, doing religion homework. She told me not to go to the right. because I'll get butt right. I think I was there. <laughs> Okay, bad start. Because I just went out tonight, mm. what I did is I left my bed in a, like a mess. Okay. It, had, it has piles of clothes on it, shoes, because I didn't know what I was going to wear. Right. And I know for a fact that when I get home, my bed is going to be made uh -huh. and comfy and ready to get in. Well, that is Because adorable. she thinks about that. That's and so that's nice. And that's so cute. Do I love that so much. i got a few stories. Are you going to few stories about my mom? <laughs> Not the first time I met his mum. Not the first time, but... I'll tell you what I love him. about a mum. Yeah. Is that no matter what, they will just drop everything yeah. just to cater for you. Right. Like, you can do absolutely no wrong. And, like, even if they want something so badly and you want it, they'll give it to you. And yeah. just forget everything that they want. They just... Do you think, like, mum, mums are sort of, like life-sized puppies, like just unconditional love. Uh, so, so much. much. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Do you have any siblings? I have two brothers. And are you the youngest? I'm the middle child. Okay. Two brothers. That's really I'm the girl, sweet. Middle child, so she likes me the most. I love your mum, and I don't even know her. Right? That's I love her so too. That's sweet. <laughs> well, you don't, you don't want to go to prison. Like, why, mum? <laughs> Don't drop you know, the soap. And I'm like, you know what happens there? I'm like, what happens? I'm scared to ever be a mum because yeah. it's a lot of pressure. Because of the love that they have to give. My mum <laughs> won't mad. sleep until me and my brother are home. And then she literally always says, she's like, as soon as I hear you both come in the door, I'm like happy. And she's like, then I sleep. Yeah. That's my yeah. mum. <laughs> yeah. That's your mum. Right. She's good. <laughs> she should crack up. This is like a bad mum moment and okay. she is, feels so guilty about this to this day. This was like five years ago, maybe six years ago now. Right. Um, I used to have blue hair, like completely blue hair. Right. Um, and then I wanted to change it from blue back to brown. And so we had to like bleach it all so that it could be like all white and then pop the brown dye in. Okay. When it's all, all done, she'll, she'll move back and then I'll definitely be seeing her a lot. Because dad, because dad can't cook for crap. <laughs> So like, at the moment, I'm probably at like my leanest, leanest stage of my life. Cause you're just not eating? Cause mum's food's not around. Exactly. What about your dad? Is he like just as... Oh, look, my dad's just beef and cute, you know? <laughs> really? Yeah. I came into the living room the other day, he's watching Vine compilations. 
I love oh my god. <laughs> Your family sounds like so much fun. <laughs> it's so what the big. Fuck? That's incredible. Do you want to get up? Yeah, I think I might be better. Yeah. Be better wait uh, the care bear. Yeah. Yeah. There's so much more cuddly. More cuddly, that's right. <laughs> We did my whole hair and like wrapped it up in like foil and we watched two episodes of Offspring and my mum like looked at me and she was like how long has that been in your hair for? I'm like I don't know uh -huh. and we like peeled it back and my hair was like absolutely white it was like slimy it was like pulling off it was like oh, rice noodles oh, it was God. like just falling out of my head and I panicked oh she accepted she accepted <laughs> she accepted. <laughs> she accepted. The person who accepted his Facebook friend request was Cecilia. You might remember Josh from last week. Sandra told me specifically, go for anyone you want except for my friend. <laughs> but like, <laughs> but I didn't know who, who her friend was. I thought, you know, her friend was like, you know, just some other average. But she's a babe. But, whew, whew, she a snack. I was like, what the fuck have we done? And my mum was just so she gets like nervous laughter she felt so bad that she just started laughing and i was like this is not a laughing matter and i'm crying i'm like i have to go to school today to, i have to go to work tomorrow like oh what God. is happening and she just couldn't stop laughing and she feels bad about it like maybe like once a month she remembers she goes oh, do you remember when we <laughs> ruined your life i'm so sorry oh, shame. <laughs> yes oh yes <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. I think you I think you just orgasmed in my backseat, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Do you wanna be in a photo for Instagram? Yes. <laughs> of course. If you got asked by a random Uber man to make to say something about your mum, what yeah. would you say? Thank you. Cute. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you so much. That's I appreciate awesome. it. She's just always tried to instill this level of like self-esteem. And I think it's really beautiful and it's kind of like that thing where, you know, like when your mum compliments you and you're like, no, stop it mum, like it's just like because you're my mum. Yeah. And I know it seems like really cheesy, but yeah. that's generally like, I think it takes like a special type of like mum's yeah. love. Where are we on grass? Is she okay walking across with this? Oh, no, 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 concrete. Here. Oh, good. Thank you. See ya. So I'd say she like instilled a level of self-esteem and confidence in my brother, sister and I like from a young age. Um, and like that that like warmth. Yeah. If I if I like I think I can generally be a relatively warm person. I think yeah. I get it from my mom. Oh, that's a good answer. I remember when it was really embarrassing to get a kiss from mum in front of my friends, but I'm 24 years old now and I'm not shy to admit that I'm a massive mama's boy. So to all the mums, thank you for loving us unconditionally. And to my mum, I love you a lot. <laughs>